Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. We got the Delta Force 29 on the block. This is part two to our build series. Uh, reinforcing the hull, okay? Uh, we're going to actually use carbon fiber to reinforce this hull with. Uh, adding carbon fiber to a boat is a lightweight solution of reinforcing your hull to support the weight of the batteries, the motor, etc. Okay, you, you crash, you flip, it's a lot of strain, a lot of a lot of forces being put on a boat hull, and um with with a lot of weight in, in your boat, carbon fiber is kind of the way to go. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be using a 3K twill six ounce weight carbon fiber sheet okay i've got a whole roll of it right here i just got this out for illustration uh we're going to be using venom carbon brand epoxy resin i got some isopropyl alcohol here 91 percent for cleaning and preparing the surface a scale our mixing bowl paintbrush serrated scissors heavy duty serrated scissors to cut the carbon fiber paper towels and some uh, paper here to pull a template so uh, stick around, you guys. Big B, we're down Clyde RC. So before we make the template, I want to give you guys a little something to think about. Okay, when you're building an RC boat, scratch building an RC boat, I guess you kind of want to figure out what you're going to be doing with the boat. Okay, uh, you can you can just build a boat to leisurely go out and have a good time with. You can build a boat for ovals build a boat for racing or just uh build it for just dedicate the boat for speed okay uh if you're building a boat for speed i definitely recommend doing a carbon fiber inlay carbon kevlar inlay okay you're gonna have big motors big batteries maxing the boat out hitting the water at, at 80 90 mile an hour it's hard on a boat so i recommend inlaying it okay uh if you're if you're just going to build a boat for fun running just just to have a good time with i don't even think you need the carbon fiber okay uh a light boat's a happy boat light boat's a fast boat they perform well lightweight uh if you're building it for racing that's that's up to you you know a light boat's a fast boat inlay it it's going to add some weight but it's going to be a strong strong boat okay adding the extra weight when you're racing it may weigh the boat down and slow you down you may not win races with a heavy boat so um if you're running ovals again i don't i don't think you need the the, the cloth um but that's personal preference it's up to you you know uh with my boat it's going to be a twin motor okay we're going to have 2860s in here uh two escs two big batteries so it's going to be somewhat of a heavy boat but i'm using small motors small batteries so um i'm i'm going to reinforce mine because i may do a couple speed runs it's not going to be breaking any records or anything so um i'm i'm inlaying mine just so the boat's ironclad so uh the next thing you want to think about is how big or how far up on the boat do you want to go okay uh and that's that's completely up to you how far up on the sides do you want to go do you want to go like speed runners i would think that they would want to wrap the carbon fiber carbon kevlar over the seam onto the top side to give you that extra reinforcement um i think i'm going to run mine up to the spray rail basically basically to right there i don't think i'm going to run it up on the sides of the boat right here and i think i'm going to run my fabric up to about right here you want to keep in mind work time with your resin you get about a 30 to 45 minute work working window um taking consideration all the contours in your boat all the hard edges in your boat will you have enough time to wet it out work all the fabric in so you don't have any air pockets you got a solid layup uh you know so basically if you uh, have a lot of contours then you don't want to cut a fabric from the transom all the way up to the tip you got to keep in mind you're going to be taking your time trying to get up here and uh you may not have enough time to work the fabric into the boat so um i think i'm going to play it safe i'm going to go to about right there okay if i feel i need more i can add a second piece or even a third piece that gives me enough time to work it all in okay so um i've already got my template cut Okay, basically what I did was I laid my, my paper out, I taped the front, I taped the back, and then I took a pencil, 
I went around the edge with a pencil right here. Basically, you know, marked out the edge like, you know, make a stencil type deal. I cut it out, okay, and uh, let's see how it fits. This is the first time I put it in there. We may have to trim it up. I know how hard it is to lay up carbon fiber and lay it in and, and work it in. I know it takes a while, so I'm not going to bite off more than I can chew. Okay, it would be nice to be able to run the one piece all the way up to the front, but um, I, I know I know it's going to be time consuming. Okay, so I'm actually going to take some of the width down. It's actually rolled up past my seam. I don't really want to go up quite that far. The front actually looks good, so I'm just going to take maybe a. Oh, actually, that looks pretty pretty good. So um, I got the scale here. We got 788 grams. I wish y'all would have freaking weighed it before I papered it. So without that, 782. Okay, and when we're done, we'll weigh it with the tape and paper on it and see what it weighs, see how much weight we added. So 782 grams before carbon fiber. Okay, so I got my fabric laid out out here in the shop and um. I made sure it was like flat and my weave was kind of straight. You don't want it to be, you know, crooked or anything. And I uh, basically got my template here and I'm going to use this little pinstriping tape right here to outline it. And then I'm going to basically cut down the middle of the pinstriping tape. So I'll leave some on my, my main piece of fabric and I'll have a little slither of it on my pattern. Okay. So my fabric is the same size as my template it's actually just a hair bigger because I went around the template with my tape okay so that's gonna actually be perfect it's gonna run up on the sides look at, let's go check it out let's go ahead and, and sand and rough up the interior of the boat uh, you want to kind of round off any any hard edges you have you know uh, hit the whole boat with 80 grit hit the transom once you got it all roughed up and and prepped up preparation is the most important part you know uh hit it with some alcohol or denatured alcohol i use 91 percent. it's fine it works um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and prep it up and then we'll be able to lay it out i think i'm gonna start with about 60 grams of resin that should wet out the whole boat and then we should have about 20 30 grams of resin left over to uh lay on the mat okay Okay, so I got the whole boat wiped out with alcohol. The whole boat's taped up. Okay, I uh, got 60 grams of uh, resin mixed up. Okay, I think that's, let's see, 28 grams in an ounce. So that's basically two ounces of resin, basically. So I'm just going to wet out the area that we're going to put the cloth on. I'm going to try not to use all this. I know I probably will, but try not to. Get the whole surface that you're bonding to. Wet it out. Okay, so I've already cut that back piece of tape off. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this forward one off because I can't get to it once it's in the boat. Okay, I got the forward tape cut off and let's lay this thing out you want to get it as close as you possibly can to where it's going to be at when you lay this thing in there maybe even you know lay it out on the boat and then press it down into the keel first This is the most important part, in my opinion, laying this thing out. T 
take your time but don't take too much time you know heel and work my way up and out to the sides on both sides. got it all laid out okay there's no air bubbles all right I'm basically going through making sure everything's laid down uh, I've got a little pick tool right here if I see any hairs from like my paintbrush or any spare hairs runaway hairs uh, carbon fiber hairs I'll like pull it out carefully especially if it's a carbon fiber hair if it's attached to the mat you'll pull the whole freaking run out so be careful doing that um, also going through laying down the the edge up here make sure that's all laid down what i've been doing is kind of figuring out which direction it's it's like tethered and i'll run my paintbrush in that same direction and just kind of smooth it out so it's like a nice transition there um the transom i, I really wanted it to to like um roll up and over so i could lay a piece another piece on the transom but I, I don't think I'm gonna lay a sec a, a piece to reinforce the transom uh, yeah I don't think I am so what I've done it was all frayed up back here so I've actually went through like I'm like I'm doing on the sides and uh, I pushed all that little fray area down so it gives it a nice nice clean look I guess you want to make sure your your you know where the straight indentations are make sure all that's laid down because that's a bad you know that's an area that you can get air bubbles in real easy you know um, once you're done you can take your finger kind of lightly go through it and press out any or listen I guess listen for air bubbles if you have an air bubble just kind of work it out and off the cloth you know so you have a nice tight a nice a nice layup with no raised areas uh, nice clean looking setup, you know, and you want to stop when it starts when it starts getting real real sticky, you know Because uh, when it starts getting super sticky, that's when you want to pull your roller out uh, With a brush when it starts getting sticky, you'll dab it and it'll want to pull the fabric up So you don't want that. So there's a you know, there's a there's a time to just say it's done You know and not mess with it anymore. You know what I mean? Yep. A couple of my viewers actually recommended taking a towel and uh, going through and, and dabbing, dabbing up the access resin, which I've uh, I've been watching a few composite videos, you know, um, like vacuum bagging, and I've seen quite a few guys take a towel and dab up any access epoxy, you know, so it's not weighing our our boat down okay but I guess you got to be careful because it will pull all your work out you know pull your work up from the, the hole itself so I'm really um, working on the keel the low spot because our epoxy is like running down downhill so I'm just kind of soaking up anything access any access down in the keel of the boat you know on these strikes right here because 
epoxy could pull up in those strakes and just dabbing up a few grams of unnecessary weight you know uh, you really don't you don't really want a shiny surface when you're done with this you know if it's real real shiny then you you know you got you or you had too much epoxy and uh it's just adding unnecessary weight without uh any additional structure you know okay got the scale zeroed out okay i did take the paper off i forgot <laughs> i'm a freaking reread but um i had some epoxy on the boat i wiped it down with isopropyl alcohol okay i got it in a little spray bottle wiped the whole boat down so we didn't have any boo-boos with with epoxy i figured that's more important than getting a, a an accurate weight mixed up 60 grams 60 grams of epoxy with the cloth okay uh so we had basically 780 grams before we started with i would say without the tape and paper on it just say 775 okay it was 780 we'll say 775 50 grams we added 50 grams of weight to the boat basically basically uh you got to figure i mixed up 60 grams of uh, epoxy but i was using a real wide brush that soaks up i would say 10 grams or so uh we dabbed it with the paper towel you know removing as much weight as we could so uh all out bear hull with carbon fiber 830 grams which i can actually feel i can feel the extra weight in the hull 50 grams two ounces it's not a lot but two ounces here uh, you know 20 grams here 20 extra grams there it adds up it does like i said a light boat's a fast boat so um it's pretty much dry you know it, it turned out great it's not too shiny it's not too dull i think i, I think i, I nailed the, the nail on the head boys <clears throat> so i actually have a little couple little pointers i want to point out to you, those of you who are doing your first carbon fiber inlay um when you make your template make your template about a quarter inch larger maybe all the way around you know then then you want the the carbon fiber sheet to be about a quarter inch larger and i'll show you why uh when you um when you lay your carbon fiber in the boat sometimes hairs pull off or you're pulling the tape off the fabric hairs pull off and you lose a little bit of your width a little you know and um so this is where i wanted my carbon fiber to go all the way up to here you, you feel me all the way up to the seam and right here i had some hairs pull out and um i think i think when i laid it in the boat and i was wetting the carbon fiber out i started from the center and worked my way up but i was actually more than likely kind of wet uh like dabbing it and laying it down with my brush at an angle so i was actually pushing the fabric down okay and you could see it right here so we got a nice like perfect weave pattern and then right here it looks like it was like like pushed and compressed you know so i think compressing that weave actually i lost some some of my my area you know some of my width compressing that weave down on the keel okay so that's something to, to consider and take into account so um i'm actually super stoked with the way it come out you know uh like i said the pattern i don't really have any tips for that but um i'm, I'm stoked you know i could feel it though i could feel it and uh I'm, I'm going lightweight with this boat it's going to be twin motor so that's basically the reason why i chose this boat to go with these motors because it's a, a decent size hull these are 2860s you know so i was trying to keep everything light the hull the battery choice the motor choice the the hardware everything you know so um yeah so the the next video in the series will be in the next few days you know um i think think we're going to make our motor mount servo mount next and or drilling holes in the transom you know thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time big b we're at clad rc